I welcome you all uh, to the course of Engineering Dynamics MWN1005. This is my lecture number four. I am putting my first uh, YouTube video for the students to help in the course of Engineering Dynamics. Uh, I am contacting you after 14 days of a long uh, period due to this COVID-19 situation. I am Dr. Yakut from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. College of Lake University of Engineering and Technology in Information Technology, Rahim Yarkha. Uh, dear students, uh, uh, of course, this is not the, um, the full coverage of the same thing that we have studied in the classes, but of course, this will help you how to go <coughs> across your, your coursework. And uh, I'm trying to solve the problems and the different examples if you think uh, any uh, any problem, please uh, try to uh, email me. Uh, better, uh, it, it is better to, to set this on the, uh, we made a um, uh, WhatsApp group as Engineering Dynamics, KFUEIT, and send you a suggestion on this. Okay, uh, initially we have discussed uh, the scalar quantities, vector quantities, how to represent the vectors, unit vectors, dot product, cross product, we have also discussed the unit systems, basic units, supplementary units, complement, uh, the drive units and we have also discussed the what is the dynamics, what is the uh, the kinematics, the difference in kinematics and kinetics. Kinematics is the study of the position, velocity and the and the acceleration of a, of a particle. Particle moves can be from a very small particle to millimeter to a large like a plane, like a shape, like a car, like a human being, like a ball, anything that we have discussed. I am just revising you, refresh your minds, so that uh, once you people again rejoin this course, you people have this knowledge. And also for the other class, section A, such that they can also have uh, this type, uh, they are uh, almost on the same length when we are talking of. I hope, uh, and then we also discussed uh, the uh, basic, we started chapter number two regarding the basic kinematics equations. So, uh, what we have discussed, you know that the velocity or the speed is the rate of change of distance. If <coughs> the rate of change of distance, <coughs> it is the speed of the rate of change of displacement is velocity. So, if you see here, V is delta S by T or V is dS by dt, this is my equation number one that we have already discussed and then you know that the acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, this is equation number two. And if you write in terms of the displacement, in terms of displacement, then acceleration is d by dt, dS by dt, which is d2s by dt squared, which is also called S double dot. I have mentioned the class that dot means we are taking the derivative with respect to time. Whenever, whenever it's a dot, it means it is the derivative with respect to time. Now, we have the relationship between velocity, dis distance, or displacement, and time, acceleration, velocity, and time. So, we must have a relationship now between the velocity, acceleration, and uh, displacement. So, from equation number one, we can find the, va the, the value of dt. From equation two, we also find the value of dt. Two equations are same with the same variable, we comparing these equations, so we will get V dV is equal to A dS. So dear students, we have equation number one, equation number two, and equation this V dV is equal to A dS. This is the tool that we have in our hand and to solve the problems uh, in the next section. So this is again a revision. We have discussed everything in the class and we have solved two simple problems of 2-1 and 2-2. So therefore, I am not doing it again. It is already done in the book also and I have also done the classes. For the other section, please, uh, they will take uh, these this notes from the Section B students. So Section B uh, CR has a lot of responsibility. I think he has to make a WhatsApp group and add all the students uh, of your class. And if the other class wants to join, please add them. And then also please add me also because I have to uh, get the feedback from you and your questions to be answered. So let's move to the sample problem uh, 2-3. We are using the um, uh, engineering dynamics uh, by JL Mariam 7th edition. 
I hope you people have this uh, uh, soft copy which I have given you. So let's move to the simple problem 2-3. The spring-mounted uh, slider moves in the horizontal guide with a negligible friction and has a velocity of v naught in the s direction. As it crosses the mid position where s is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0. The two springs together exert a retarding force on the motion of the slider which gives an acceleration proportional to the displacement but a positively directed and equal to a is equal to minus k square x where k is constant. k is a constant basically the constant that is arbitrarily squared for later convenience in the form of expression if the value of k becomes negative then. So determine the expression for the displacement and velocity v as a function of time t. We need to find we have given the acceleration as a function of distance we need to find the expression for the displacement and the velocity. So, so uh, basically in this uh, question, one thing is given to you, one, uh, one uh, initial condition is given to you that t is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0. That is the mean position. It is oscillating between these two points, right? So that is the displacement from the mean position and you can move here, you can move here. And of course, it is oscillating. Retarding force is given by a, the spring which is given the acceleration is minus k square x. So let's solve the problem. So we have uh, three relations. You know that a is equal to dv by dt and d2s by dt square. v is equal to ds by dt and v dv is equal to ads. And uh, you are given a as a function of s. So I need to find the velocity as a function of time, uh, sorry, as a function of uh, uh, displacement and then time uh, later on. So we know that, you know that VDV is equal to ADS. So VDV is equal to what is A is minus K square SDS. Now I integrate VDV means V square by 2. The power is 1. So the VDV square by 2 minus K square is constant. It's S square S. So this is S square by 2 plus C1. And the C1 is of course the integrating constant. We can find this integrating constant with some initial uh, condition when s is equal to 0, of course it is at the mean position and v is equal to v naught, which is the maximum velocity. So now the c1 is the unknown, we put this value here, right, when s is equal to 0, this term goes to 0 and c1 is equal to v naught square by 2, that has been shown, this is v naught square by 2. Now put this value in this the equation of the uh, what we have find out for the velocity v square by 2 is equal to minus k square s square by 2 plus v naught square by 2 by simplification taking the uh, cancellation of 2 by taking common so v square is equal to minus k square s square plus v naught square and uh, finally is it under root v naught square minus k square s square. Now we got the relationship between the velocity and the distance. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so now v is equal to. Now we need to find the relationship for the, uh, of course, the in terms of uh, time or displacement. So we uh, now we find the relationship for the, uh, I think displacement. So I need to displacement as a function of time. So v is equal to ds by dt, and ds is equal to v dt and we have find this v value we put it here now we integrate both sides and of course separating variable because this relationship have s here so we took it in the denominator and then we integrate so this integration is little bit uh, little bit difficult for maybe if i take this case constant k square is constant i take out of the integral was 1 by k this become v square k square minus s square it is just like this given we have 1 over under root a square minus s square which is called sine inverse x by a so here a is v naught by k so 1 by k is sine inverse s over v naught by k plus c2 and then for therefore t plus c2 is equal to 1 by k sine inverse k s by v naught so that is the relationship we have find out between the distance and time but the unknown is t c2 the next thing we have to find c2 as we know that when t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 if you put here 
of course when t is equal to 0 s is 0 so 0 0 c2 is equal to 0 because sine inverse of 0 is basically 0 so we get the relationship sine inverse k s by v naught is equal to kt so of course sine of kt becomes uh, ks over v naught or s is equal to v naught by k sine kt so dear students we have find out the relationship between the distance and the time which is one of the requirement now the next requirement to find the velocity as a function of time which is very simple we just take the derivative the first derivative of the distance your displacement will give you the velocity so i took the derivative v naught by k is constant sine derivative is uh, cos of kt and kt derivative is k so it becomes k k cancel out v is equal to v naught cos kt so it, this is very clear that the velocity is oscillating at like a cosine function so i hope uh, this question is being clear mera khayal hai ye baat aapko samajh aa gayi hai ki humne s ko bhi relationship nikal liya time mein aur velocity ki relationship bhi nikal liya time maine wo teen equation istemal ki hain ke v is equal to ds by dt and a is equal to dv by dt ye dono relation maine use ki hain और इन दोनों रिलेशन के यूज करने से में ही मैंने जो है बाकी रिलेशनशिप डिस्प्लेसमेंट की और वेलोसिटी की निकाल ली आपको कोई क्वेश्चन होगा तो प्लीज अपने व्हाट्सएप पे भेज दीजिएगा थैंक यू इस क्वेश्चन इसी क्वेश्चन को करने का एक और तरीका भी है और तरीका यह है कि फॉर एग्जांपल वी वी नो दैट a is equal to minus k square x दिस इज गिवन वी आल्सो नो दैट a is equal to s double dot d to s by d t square if someone want to start from here he or she can start from here also s double dot plus k square if i a a is equal to s double dot is equal to minus k square x we bring it here s double dot plus k square s is equal to 0 this is a already second order differential equation and if if i say the roots the roots are basically here in this case plus minus k iota when the, here the roots are of this equation second order differential equations are imaginary and you know that the roots are imaginary the, the solution is a sin uh, a sin of theta plus b cos of theta in our case the theta is basically kt at if i say in terms of t so it is a sin of t a and b cos of kt so here s is equal to a sin k of t plus b cos k of t because we have a, the first root is k k so a cos of k sin of kt b cos of kt so a and b are the two, the two integrating constant there we there we will find using the same initial condition we know t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 if i put t is equal to 0 here this becomes 1 b this becomes 0 and this is 0 to so b becomes 0 similarly when t is equal to 0 v is equal to v naught which is maximum so <coughs> sorry <coughs> take the derivative to find the velocity right a cos of kt times k minus b because cos minus sin of kt times k so now put v is equal to v naught and we have t is equal to 0 so this term goes to 0 this is goes to 1 so a is equal to v naught by k so again s is equal to because b is 0 s is equal to v naught k sin kt we get the same relationship that we have found for the by you by solving this problem by the first method now what is s now s is equal to uh, s dot we need to find velocity s dot is v naught by k cos k uh, t and k and that is v naught cos k t so you can solve this problem by direct using a, a is equal to s double dot and or you can use the previous method whichever method you think it is easier for you you can use it i have solved this problem by both the methods such that uh, uh, you will come across uh, both of the techniques and when you're solving the problem uh, there's no restriction uh, to solve the problem by any one of the methods i hope yahan tak aapko baat samajh aa gayi hogi अब मैं आ, मेरी कोशिश यह है कि मैं ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करूं क्योंकि जो मैंने आपको ज़्यादातर चीज़ें तो मैंने आपको बता दी हैं थ्योरी इस, इस टॉपिक की बता दी है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सैम्पल प्रॉब्लम टू डैश फोर अ फ्रेट इज मूविंग एट अ स्पीड ऑफ एट नॉट्स 
when its engines are suddenly stopped, if it takes 10 minutes for the freighter to reduce the speed to 4 knots, determine and plot the distance s in nautical miles moving by the ship and its speed v in knots as a function of the time t during the interval. The, the deceleration of the ship is proportional to the square of the speed which is a is equal to minus k v square. So we are we it, it started at eight knots and they reduces the speed to four knots in ten minutes and the deceleration rate is given to you a is a function of the velocity with k is constant. So uh, we need to find the uh, what we need to find we need to find the speed v in uh, knots in the function of time t. So we have the initial velocity which is 8 knots, the final velocity is 4 kilo knots. To find velocity as a function of time and s as a function of time, we are given a is equal to minus kv square. So a is equal to minus kv square. So a is equal to dv by dt minus kv square, right? By variable separable methods, we have uh, separate the variables and then we integrate. Of course, we integrate here from a to v initial to and time 0 to t. When I integrate, this is minus 1 by v because power is minus 2, the minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 1, right? I think it's very simple integration. If you still have a problem, please talk to me. And then uh, this is uh, k dt, sorry, this is k dt, this is k dt and dt is to integrate as t, right? So it becomes uh, upper limit minus lower limit is equal to minus kt and we get the relationship 8 over 8 kt plus 1. This only the k k is unknown. We can find the this uh, constant also by using these uh, conditions. This is clear. So we find the relationship of velocity with respect to time. Now we can uh, find the values of the constant k. V is equal to four knot when t is equal to how many because knots per per hour. So we convert into hour. Ten by sixty is one by six. So if you put the value of uh, Velocity 8, uh, 4, 8, 8, k and time in hours, we find the value of k which is 3 by 4 per mile. Correct? And now you can put this value of k in the previous, in this one equation number 1. Then just put this value 3 by 4, you get 8 over 1 plus 60. Because we need to find, the, we have to plot this, this, uh, this as a velocity as a function of time. Therefore, I have to find the value of k and we have given the conditions and from this condition we can find the constant. Now your next uh, task is to find the s, the position or the distance traveled by the body uh, as a function of time. It's not a problem, we know that we, we have a value of v, v is equal to ds by dt, so ds is equal to v dv, we integrate from 0 to s and this is also from 0 to t, when I integrate this one this becomes s. And you know that 1 plus 60, it's 8 is a constant. And of course, it's ln 1 plus 60 because the whole power is 1. And that 6 divided by, will be divided. So we have 4 by 3 ln 1 plus 60. Now, S and V can be plotted using MATLAB or any other software. Uh, I will show you the one of the example by uh, when I solve one of the uh, unsolved problem. How to write the code in MATLAB and to plot one plot over the other. So I hope this will help you in this uh, respect. So up till we have done the work, we have seen that we have used three equations intelligently and have taken the relationship. You can also plot them manually. But I will prefer that you do it with MATLAB. And MATLAB will help you and you will also get more work when you go to other engineering. So this will be a good software for engineering. We have used it for engineering. So we have used it for engineering. These are the simple problems which I have solved. I hope, uh, of course, um, in the um, video it becomes move fast. But please solve by hand, such that uh, you will, you can solve yourself. Uh, because this all thing, I, I try to solve all these steps which I can. But uh, still, you have to solve by hand. Unless you solve, you not solve by hand, you can not learn. Because when I read, I forget. When I write, I learn. When I do, I understand. So students, please do it. 
अदरवाइज यू फील डिफिकल्ट वेन यू आई मूव फॉरवर्ड अगेन एंड अगेन ओके तो सम ऑफ द अनसॉल्व प्रॉब्लम आई हैव सेंट आई हैव गिवन यू दी असाइनमेंट एंड प्लीज ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिट दैट असाइनमेंट ड्यू टू दिस आई कैन से दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम अकर ड्यू टू दिस ऑल कोरोना वायरस दिस देर फोर द असाइनमेंट इन चले बट यू पीपल हैव दी it uh, class you have taken the classes and i have also given you this no video solve these problems and if you can send by scanning or making a some document to the cr and ca or send me then i will check thank you so let's start the unsolved problems this is sample problem 2-2 that is uh, sample problems the 2.2 we are using version 7 so i am not repeating again and again this is version 7 if you have any other version okay this type of problems are available you can do it but it's better i have given you this, this uh, book so this is uh, uh, i think simple problem 2 dash 2 which i have solved and let uh, and i think in uh, maybe it is a written a question is a little bit wrong but anyhow We have given s is equal to two t cube minus three t square minus hundred t minus fifty, the feet or meters. So I need to find the velocity and acceleration. So very simple. First, I take the first derivative of this. I can find the velocity. It is sixty square minus sixty minus hundred. When I take the second derivative, I will get twelve t and minus sixty is so feet per second square or meter per second square. So main thing is how to plot. For this case, uh, I use the MATLAB code. In MATLAB, MAT, uh, you have a I, I have done in two thousand fifteen A version, but you may may have some up uh, upward version or lower version. There is no problem. Please open the MATLAB, install the MATLAB, open the MATLAB, and I prefer you to make a M file. you go to the uh, i think uh, open and the uh, open the uh, new m file right or a text file you get that give the name whatever you like but its extension should be dot m you can do the same thing on a command prompt but it is better because if you want to change the code uh, you, you or you can recall this file again uh, if you done on the command prompt it will not be shown to you again but if you do these things on the uh, by making a file it's just like a code and whenever you want to call you can call and you can run the program so let's see the clear clear means it clear all the variables in the ram of that particular matlab in matlab for example if anyone people have designed defined a t variable somewhere sometimes earlier it might have some place in the ram so clear will clear all the variables clc will clear screen its screen will be clear and when you give you get the response you, resp you get the response of of your your code only i am plotting this uh, of course the distance velocity and acceleration for for 5 seconds you can make for 5 second 3 second 10 second 100 second whatever you like so i started from 0 and given an increment of 0.1 and after the last value is 5 right so it is it means for one we have 10 points so it means here we have about 50 points 50 or 51 points i think so so if you want if you think you know graph is not very very clear or very not smooth you can further reduce it we go to 0.01 but i think this much accuracy is required Now we are given the uh, equation s is equal to two cube. It can be written as s is equal to two. Then multiply t. Please, this is t is not a matrix. If it is a matrix, it is only hat cube. But it is of individual value to be cubed, so it should be a dot dot hat cube minus thirty times t dot square minus hundred multiplied by t. Minus fifty. Static is used for multiplication. Hat is used for power. Dot hat is used for the power of the individual element, individual value. If you want to do the the power of a matrix, you use only hat. So similarly, I write sixty t square minus sixty t minus hundred, and similarly the acceleration. Uh, uh, 
मुझे उम्मीद है आप लोगों की बात समझ आ गई होगी कि अगर मैट्रिक्स की पावर लेनी है तो हेड लगेगा लेकिन यहाँ पे हम मैट्रिक्स की पावर नहीं ले रहे हैं हम हर एक टी की पावर को क्यूब करेगा या स्क्वायर करेगा जो भी पावर है इसलिए डॉट हेड लगेगा इंडिविजुअल वैल्यू को अगर पावर देनी है तो फिर डॉट हेड यूज होता है मैट्रा में और हेड यूज होता है सिर्फ और सिर्फ किसके लिए जी मैट्रिक्स के पावर के लिए मैं ऑफकोर्स मैटलैब इज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल फॉर द प्लॉटिंग वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग टूल नंबर ऑफ वेज टू प्लॉट हेयर वी वॉन्ट दैट ऑल दी थ्री प्लॉट्स आर टू बी प्लॉटेड वन ओवर दी अदर वन ओवर सॉरी इट इज शुड बी के फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ डिसप्लेसमेंट इन दब ऑन द सेम इन द डाउनवर्ड वी हैव वेलॉसिटी एंड वी हैव एक्सेशन सच दैट वी कैन कंपेयर दिस we cannot put them on the same graph because both of all of them have a different units distance in meters velocity in meter per second and acceleration meter per second is square so i use a command subplot subplot here i say three there are three plots and this is first plot of the three 1 comma 1 this day three day, we make a subplot region 3 this is the first plot and at the first position right plot t comma s T comma S. I'm I'm plotting uh, the dist uh, the distance over the time. These are the labels that you use that that your your graph is readable at time in seconds and S in meters, right? Then similarly, the I use the uh, subplot three first the same column and there's a second graph, the second plot. Sorry, plot T comma V. We plotted the velocity along the T similarly x label and y label you can just copy paste and then I give the third plot three plots at first position third plot I draw, I draw the uh, plot the acceleration and given the the the, the related um, labels x labels and y labels now now you save this file and run it when you run you will see you get these graphs and if you see this s of course you see s s is a cubic function and over this 5 seconds that is the time how uh, how, how the distance is being changed similarly the velocity is changing like this right and then the acceleration is you see the straight line if you see this one the acceleration is a straight line yes 20 minus 6 so minus 60 and it is increasing take it right it is the it is increasing with the time so this by this way you can compare okay, for example at 1 second the displacement is about to be maybe maybe minus uh, 5 meter or feet or whatever and the velocity at time at that time is about minus 150 feet or meter per second or and the acceleration is about about 50 about 50 meter per second square so at any position you can compare and you see the matlab is giving you a very accurate plot and it, by this means you can also learn one of the modern tools which is being required by the engineers so aapne wo file bana ke pehle usko m dot m mein same kar le jo bhi naam rakhna hai aapki marzi hai अगर आप प्रॉब्लम 2- डैश फोर के से कर लेंगे तो आपको आसान हो जाएगा नाम देने में आपने अंडर स्कोर यूज करना है कोई स्पेस यूज नहीं करनी फर्स्ट लेटर इज ऑलवेज नुमेरिक सॉरी इट्स अल्फा नुमेरिक मीन्स कोई ना कोई अल्फाबेट होगा और उसके बाद आप नुमेरिक यूज कर सकते हैं उसके बाद आपने इस फाइल को रन करना है तो ये आपको प्लॉट मिल जाएंगे और इस तरह से किसी क्वेश्चन में भी आपने सिर्फ उस जाके फंक्शन को चेंज करना है एंड इट विल प्लॉट फॉर यू मेरा ख्याल है कि ये चीज़ें आपको भी काफ़ी हद तक समझ आ गई हैं उसके बाद मैं प्रॉब्लम टू डैश सिक्स ख़त्म करके फिर मैं आज का लेक्चर उसको मैं ख़त्म कर दूँगा और नेक्स्ट टाइम फिर हम इनशाला मतलब उसी लेक्चर में आपको आगे काम कराऊँगा और वो मैं इन कल तक वो भी अपलोड कर दूँगा प्लीज़ मेरे चैनल को आप लोग सब्सक्राइब कर लें डॉक्टर लियात अली खान के नाम से और उसको उस पर फिर आपको मैं ये वीडियोज़ भेजता रहूँगा मेरे लिए ये आसान भी है Uh, yeah, you can say it is a viable way. You we we can do it. If you have any problem, please let me know. The velocity of a particle, 
separate from 2 dash 6, the velocity of a particle which moves along the, uh, of course, s axis or along the s means is given by s dot is equal to 40 minus 3 t square meter per second square, where t is in seconds. Calculate the displacement of the particle during the interval from t is equal to 2 seconds to t is equal to 4 seconds. We are given the s dot, which is the velocity, which is 40 minus 3 t square. So, of course, we know that it is uh, ds by dt is equal to v. So, ds is equal to 40 minus 3 t square times dt. Right? And to limit from 0 to s and 0 to t. So, I integrate s, this becomes 40 t, this becomes minus 3 t square by 3. This is, become, this is equal to 40 t minus t cube and we got the relationship for s. So we need to find a displacement between the time at t is equal to 2 second to t is equal to 4 second. So I find the distance from at s is equal to 2. Just put the t is equal to 2, we get 72 meters. At 4 seconds, we time is a, we get the distance is 96 meters and delta is as 4 minus as 2 as a 24 meter is the time, the, the distance traveled by the body between the time is equal to 2 second to 4 seconds. Uh, this is uh, my first uh, video on the uh, YouTube channel for these for our students. Please uh, go through this. Any question I'm asking for to the uh, to the CR, make a WhatsApp group, right? Make a WhatsApp group, and also add all the students. I think the, the name is Engineering Dynamics K F U E I T, right? and put uh, all the class fellows, me, and if section A people wants, please add them to also. And uh, uh, please let me know uh, this um, channel has been made and I will uh, also use it. You just send me the, uh, the uh, your queries. I will try to answer this question. So this is my first lecture uh, on the YouTube, otherwise the fourth lecture. Inshallah, tomorrow I will put the next lecture. I will complete this topic for tomorrow and then I start uh, the curvilinear motion. The curvilinear motion in Cartesian coordinates. We talk of Inshallah uh, the uh, projectile motions, the uh, normal tangential coordinates, r theta coordinates, and cylindrical coordinates. So keep doing this. We, and we first of all give the theory, the, then we solve simple problems and some of the problems. The problem regarding this, this section, I have given you the assignments. Please share with the other students, right? I don't have th that particular pro uh, assignment right now because it's all lying in my office uh, computer. So please share with this. Thank you very much for your cooperation.